Hello, it's me, R.R. Lee, and this is the Sigma Illusion. Our target is in the same room as us, very conveniently. So we're just going to turn the radio off to get his attention, and we are going to lure him into this room. Because we can. We're not going to be doing this for the other levels. Because the timing will progressively get tighter uh, as the levels go up. But this is just for convenience. Just because we can. Because uh, if you look on the minimap, the sea chef was just turning around. So we could have done it in the next room over. But again, this is just because we can. No one is ever going to see his body, even if we leave it on the ground in the kitchen. But that's it. That's it. Just choke him out, snap his neck, shoot out the camera. That counts as melee. There is melee and close combat in this game. I don't know why the terms are interchangeable, but we just have to break his neck without being seen by him. That counts. That's all it is. And now we have the favorite complication of this game, hacking a laptop. Great. So same as before, we're going to turn the radio off to get him over here. But this time, we're going to do it in this room. Just got to wait for him to come over. And uh, he's coming over, right? Yep, he is. He's going to come over, and we're going to wait for the shoe chef to turn around. We can spare a couple of seconds to do that. So we're just going to wait for him. He turned around. We can choke him out and snap his neck. No one comes by this way, so no one is going to see him. So we can just leave him on the ground there. Now, we got to shoot out this camera so that we can go up. We can take our time a little bit with this, but we really do, we really do need to move with Pep in our step because uh, the laptop is the one that the main assassination target for this level goes in uh, the same room as. She will stay there for a good minute and a half. So if we are too slow, uh, that is a very painful minute and a half that we need to wait. But it doesn't look like we will need to because they are not in the room yet. So we're going to very quickly throw this remote explosive. And we are going to detonate it. And you see those white dots that were about to go onto the outdoor patio, the Terrence, whatever it's called. But now they're going to go back around and down the staircase. There is a small, a very small chance of someone coming into this room before that 20 seconds is up. See, on the minimap, on the minimap, someone just went in uh, to investigate what the explosion was. The timing on it is very tight, and it is hit and miss. It is hit and miss. Sometimes within the first five seconds of hacking that laptop, Someone will be there. Like, some someone will just come into the room and be like, Hey, you're not supposed to be here. Like, uh, okay. no sense of caution. Just no sense of caution Man, from him. Throwing noise. his life away and throwing away on. a good few minutes of our lives. If we need to redo this. But that is this level completed because now no one can see us. We just have to shoot the camera on our way out. And we are good to go. See, there's his dead body. No one found it. No one found it. They're just cooking the bolognese. The spaghetti bolognese, even though that was his job. We we killed him, and that was, uh, that was his job, actually, to cook the spaghetti bolognese. But I'm sure that the other two sous chefs will pick up the slack. They will do just fine without him. Case in point, they didn't even bother looking for him. That is the level two of this one done. This escalation is relatively easy. It's just that the timing gets a little more tight each time. We cannot pacify anyone, so don't press square too many times. Same as before, same as level two. We're going to turn the radio off. 
and we just have to make sure we just have to make sure not to press square one too many times very difficult i know but i believe that we can manage so he's gonna come over here to look at the radio nothing suspicious here chef i'm just standing here doing nothing and you see we use that pot lid as cover but he thinks that he heard something so we're just gonna bump into him and that distracts him you know he thought that he heard and possibly seen someone getting murdered but by giving him a bump on the shoulder it causes him to have dementia it causes him to have short-term memory loss he will not remember anything that just happened which is very convenient for us and by killing him right there instead of waiting him for, to turn to the radio instead of waiting for him to turn to the radio it saves uh an extra second and a half maybe maybe two seconds so we can uh be a little more patient in this room ideally we wait for the door to open when they come over here you see that white dot we wait for them to open the door and that busts this door open causes them to hear it it makes her panic for a little bit longer so that when they go around to the stairs there is a lesser chance of someone coming into this room I did it a little prematurely last time but you see they're all uh, they're all going to the staircase no one's coming into this room this time because it happened closer to them that there wasn't an extra room of distance because they did not open that door last time to go into the outdoor area to come into the room that we were hacking in it had a lesser impact on them but because that door was open and we threw the explosive the? and detonated it and they were partially that one NPC was partially into the next room over it caused them to panic more which means that they took more time uh, they took more time to leave to recompose themselves and leave as, as long as we wait for someone to open that door then no one should uh no one should come in no no one should come in it's very rare that someone comes in within the first few seconds of us uh hacking in the laptop if we make sure they open the door first i can't believe i forgot to mention that for level one but that makes it a lot easier uh not level one for level two what am i saying this is a level two complication now we have to hide all the dead bodies. You know, that makes it uh, really difficult for the one. So again, turn the radio off. And we are going to wait very patiently for him to come over here. See how patient I am? See how totally patient I am. I'm bumping into you prematurely, by the way. Take no offense to it. Come on. Come on, Chef. You know you want to turn. Show me your backside. Snap his neck, and we gotta quickly, quickly drag him and put him into this crate. You see that took an extra three, that took an extra five seconds, as opposed to just leaving his cold dead body there. That took an extra five seconds. So now we have to run. Have to run, make sure that we do not get caught on anything because by the time that we get up there they're probably going to be opening the door we essentially need to open the door to the room throw the explosive and mash the detonator button once we get up there if my memory is correct from doing this uh from doing this in practice when i was trying to get all of these five star i'm pretty sure that's what we're gonna have to do are they on the mini map no they're not they're not here yet they're not here yet. my memory was wrong oh no 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 i was just two seconds earlier about i was just two seconds early if i would have pressed it as soon as i thrown it they probably wouldn't have had the door open but this is just as good as well works just fine see they're all leaving they're all panicked 
They gonna go down the stairs. This escalation is uh, pretty easy. It's pretty easy once you figure out what to do. And, uh, and you don't accidentally punch Chef Marlowe in the face like I did a couple times. So long as you don't do that, uh, it's, it's pretty easy. Pretty easy. One of the quicker ones that you can do. See, we're already... This is level four of this? Yeah, this is level hmm. four. We only have one more level to do after this. Checking in. Heard suspicious sound. Like, the Checking longest the thing of this is just hacking the laptop. And I get the feeling they thought that it would be more difficult to do or more time-consuming. But a lot of these escalations that they put in, the complications, the entire thing behind them is just to run fast. Just get to where it is quickly because they purpose they purposefully, if I could speak appropriately, they purposefully made it tight. They they made the timing tight on purpose, but that makes it easier to figure out what you need to do. When it's all a mishmash and there's no direction, that makes it difficult. But things like this, where the whole thing is you need to get there really, really fast, it helps you figure out what you need to fix. See? L look at that complication. That, that's not even a complication. We're not a bodyguard. We're an assistant chef. We're a kitchen assistant. We don't have to worry uh, about break. any of the bodyguards recognize us, recognizing what? us because we are a kitchen assistant. I highly doubt that they know all of the kitchen staff. Isn't that right, Chef Marlowe? Chef Marlowe. No, no, he chose to end his own life. How could he? How good into the crate you go. Into the crate you go. If you haven't noticed, this entire, this entire escalation contract is uh, the same from level two onwards. It just has one change to it. It's level one and two, and you play level two four times. You, you play it four times. That is, that, that is this whole thing. Why? Why? J just why, guys? Why would you make me play the same thing four times in a row? It's like having an unskippable cutscene in a game. It it's so meaningless. So meaningless. Let's see. Especially if you gotta. Especially if you like the game and you want to replay it over and over and over again. Having an unskippable cutscene is just. It just torments the soul. Please put in a skip. Please put in a skip, game developer. I don't want to watch the same cutscene over and over and over again. Look at them all go. They like some ants. Also, I like I like how Agent 47 is just constantly tapping the same keys over and over again. I don't think his fingers are even making contact with the laptop in that animation, but he is still somehow hacking it. Expert hacker man. I, I, I'm just lightly caressing the keyboard of the laptop and that gets me the information that I need. Very nice. Very brilliant work, 47. You know, lightly caressing that laptop. What the? You know, lightly brushing its Possible keys. Intruder. Sweeping area. Oh. You, you know, that it, he, uh, he got the laptop's information by seducing it. He got it by lightly harassing the laptop's keyboard. Excellent work, 47. Excellent work. The perfect IT guy, the computer whisperer. He doesn't, uh, he doesn't know how the computers work exactly. He just harasses all of them and they decide to give up the information willingly to make it stop. Very scary. Very scary. Also, for the hacking the laptop, I don't know why he just didn't take the whole laptop. That's what I would do. Just take the whole thing with me. I think that's what any reasonable person would do. But that's this escalation contract done. The Sigma Illusion completed. Where the picture? What is the picture? What's the picture for this? It's... It's a gas... 
It's a pilot light for an oven. It was a pilot light for an oven. It was a burner. I guess that's appropriate since we just killed the chef over and over again and no one else. It, it was literally... Someone just really doesn't like Chef Marlow. But that's this one done. I'd like to thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. And I hope that you'll enjoy the next one as well. Goodbye. Goodbye.